So for this molecule, we need to give the IUPAC name. So step one, find the longest continuous chain. Now a lot of you are gonna go one, two, three, four, but what if you had to start over here? Or what if you had to start over here and go like this? Whoa, look at that, five carbons. Okay, that is the longest that you would find. You're not gonna be able to find longer. Okay, so that's gonna be five carbons. So five means pent. Okay, now we need to look at branches. So branches are the things that are sticking out. So this is one, and this would be another. Okay, so we have a, that's a one carbon, so that's methyl. Then we have a chlorine, so that's chloro. Okay, now the idea is, is that you want the branch numbers to be as low as possible. So if we start naming from this side, one, two, three, four, five, then, okay, so then your branches would be on carbon number two and carbon number three. If you had to start labeling it on the other side, then it would be at number one, what is this, three, four, and five. So then your, car, then your branches would be on carbon number three and four. So you would not do it that way because you want the numbers to be as low as possible. So we are gonna name it from um, this side here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Now, you have to go alphabetically. So C is before M. So you are gonna say that on carbon number two, there is a chloro, and then on carbon number three, there is a methyl, okay? And then um, how many carbons did we say? Five, so that's pent. Now this is a halo alkane because it's got the halogen. Halo alkanes just have the same ending as a normal alkane, and so that is the name, 2-chloro-3-methyl-pentane.